Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? I'm not good at making voices. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really trying. Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dame, and welcome to Hatful Boyfriend. Now, this game has been on my mind anytime I want to do some sort of like lovey dovey, or in this case, lovey pigeons. I think they're pigeons. They might be doves. I'm not sure. Um, if they are the same thing. If not, I don't know birds that well, apparently. But uh, this is a great game to release in time for Valentine's Day. Why? Because it's fucking weird and it's birds in love and that is right up my alley <laughs> so i will be having the main character's voice in my voice and i will be making up voices for the other characters in here so hopefully i remember what they all look like of course because they all kind of look very similar as they are most of them the same type of bird uh but i just this game is just gonna be so interesting to me why because it plays on the Atomi games from from Japan. So I feel like it totally kind of mocks it, but like in such a funny and great way. So without further ado, let's start. Hatiful boyfriend. St. Pigeon Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please, please enter your name. Um, I'm going to be... I'm going to put in my actual name instead of just game name. I'll enter my first name. My first name is Kristen. Uh, and I'll put Kristen, I won't put my last name, Kristen, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a name that would actually be kind of funny, Kristen, um, <sighs> yeah, sure, Kristen Tosaka, I kind of want to be Mimi, I, I kind of want to be a meme about it, so I wonder maybe something along the lines of, <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I couldn't pick a last name. Kristen Tosaka. Yeah, that is fine. That works. Yeah, that's that's good. Kristen Tosaka is fine. Powerful boyfriend includes a powerful visual visual visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Wow! Display human portraits. Yes, I would I would like to display the human portraits so that way I can a little bit get a little bit better at knowing whose voice would be better. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan Snow, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonation. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of, diff of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I choose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh my god. Ryota! What's up? How you doing, Ryota? Usually, you'd have to be ready for an hour by now, Kristen. Overslept? Wow, all right, Ryota. You're kind of cute. You're kind of cute. This rock dove is named Kawara, uh, Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch this today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. <laughs> this is gonna be so fucking awful and good. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, Jeepers, who the fuck says Jeepers? No good being late on our first day. Well, on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. 
Yeah! All the lost bird fun. Had a full boyfriend first term. The most splendid and greatest academy of, of the pigeon and by the pigeon and for the pigeon. So it is pigeons. This music. I literally want to die. It's so awful. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Yes, let's start the new term off strong. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the teacher's here. Kazuaki, I think his name is. Good morning, everybody. Ramnanaki. Kazuaki, I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. You know, I think I like that voice the best for him. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. Ah, Kazuyaki Nanaki. Okay. So I kind of want to fit his character a little bit more. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's famously a soporific math professor. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? I'm not good at making voices. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really trying. Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Holy shit. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane Labelsakia. Oh, shit. Okay, it's a boy. <laughs> It seems his fan to I'm, I'm still going to give him that voice, actually. It seems his fan tail, Shirogane Sakia, his feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. So this is a reverse harem. Uh, I'm here for it. Oh. All the colors are reflecting off my skin, so I'm really showing all the reds and pinks right now. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Amazing. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Who the fuck are you? Squawk! <laughs> or not. A morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. I knew there were doves in here. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Blah! He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's these the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting on for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Tasaka Kristen. Great name. A sophomore. What about you? You're... Uh, are you gonna fucking talk there, dude? Nagaki. Fujishiro. Nagaki. Freshman. Oh, quite the talker, aren't you? Well. 
Interesting. So far, I like the teacher the best, but also my best friend is also not bad. Fuji Fujishiro Nageki. Nageki. I think it's Nageki. Uh huh. Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. He might just he might just be sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Wow. I keep meeting depressing people today. Damn, we keep meeting the fucking weirdest people. Well, I mean, that then is also the game we're playing. Uh bird dating sim. <laughs> Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh, no. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Who's Yuya? Come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, Oh, wait. Sorry. He... No, I flipped the voices around. Hey, wait, just, uh... He doesn't care for half-breeds. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakia's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. What? You heard that whole thing, right? Are you afraid of Sakiyas? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Ah, ah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all of you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. Shut up, little ladies. <laughs> You're so funny. What do you look like? Yeah, I'm keeping your voice. You are pretty, but you're too cocky for my taste. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. You're a Kristen, right? How did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Duh. <laughs> A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami, adieu. <laughs> Why am I here at this Pigeon Academy? Am I going to find romance? Isn't that considered bestiality? <laughs> he really is a noble bird. I've never heard of anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. This fucking music, dude. I want to die. That's all for today. Stay safe, everybody. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to be in the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always said of a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdies here. Fuck! <laughs> Amazing. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryota! No reply. The infirmary's empty. Weird, did he go home already? I felt a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> The silly, silly drugs. <laughs> e thypar trithe lucio benzene. What do these even do? Uh, everything, sweetie. Care to find out? Ooh, sexy doctor. Oh, oh, d d d d doctor. His name is Shu. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. No, thank you. 
What do you look like? Oh, shit. Yo, he's got that weird fucking drug lord gaze. He's a drug lord, I bet you. 100% drug lord status. This partridge is Iwamane Shu, the school doctor. Okay, Shu, you've gathered my attention. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. For what? Everybody knows that, everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with a spare Gaius? The psychosis or even worse things. Mm, then I don't want to get near him. Even if he's creepily cute. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like to have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Mm, he's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come to find me before going home? So sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. <laughs> this fucking music. Oh, God. Ah, finally out of the den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Isn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Birds having a track team. This is an expensive looking track for a bunch of fucking birds. Oh my Lord. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. This is new, San. Kuka! This is no budding for a man. Ka! Uh, Akusan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squish pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Pudding, it's pudding. Why am I saying pudding? Oh, so this is Okosan. So he's just a straight up fucking bird. No human profile. He doesn't really look it, but he's supposedly a fiend tail pigeon. Thing, I think. Pudding, not pudding. What the fuck, Kristen? You're... <laughs> Either way, he's hyper. Okasan has suffered a deception, most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Gah! Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Gah! But this is no pudding. Alsted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by these by he, what he trusted most, by those he trusted most. Squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the Jess, young lady. Akasan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is he fighting me? I'm just trying to see what's wrong with him. Gah! They'll rue the day they cross Akasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Gah! God damn it. Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? I wonder. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. I wonder how they accepted a human being into a pigeon fucking school. Oh, Kazuaki is the teacher. Mm, I, uh, I think we want to choose a class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want, you can. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Go! Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragane? A foolish question. I already had a position here. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, huh? Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Who do I want? Hmm, I don't want to be in the track team. 
So I'll join the student council. I don't want to talk to that depressing guy. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. But we're going to end that here for today, you guys. I highly appreciate your time and for actually watching this ridiculous fucking let's play of this game. I know it's a lot to get through, especially with the repeating music, but it is, in fact, a fantastically funny game. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cuckoo! Mwah! See ya! Bye-bye!